Hello Aries, thank you for being here. This is a general reading for anyone with prominent Aries placement in your chart. The messages are guided by spirit but may not be your story, but if not, check out my other videos. Those energies may be applicable to you uh, or someone in your life. To purchase a personal reading or any of my Oracle decks, click on the Etsy link below. Okay, so before we get into these spiritual journey oracles, um, messages from spirit I was channeling before the video, I got that, um, <laughs> I got like take no prisoners. Like I feel like you are, I don't know, on a mission. <laughs> I feel like you're pissed. Um, sorry, upset. You're upset about something. Um, I got finding out or found out. There's some information that you have uh, gotten a hold of or that someone has shared with you. And I, I feel like that sends you into this chain of events. Um, that's kind of how it felt for me. Um, then they showed me matches. And, and I, I'm, I'm like, matches? Like playing with fire? Playing with fire. So very interesting. I don't know, I don't know what you're involved in or who's around you, but it sounds like you are, um, yeah, just kind of, <laughs> you're, you're upset, but in a way that maybe forces you to do something. It's very interesting energy. This may, gosh, I think you had a very specific one last month, so I wonder who this is for, but let's just, let's just see what we've got. Uh, I pulled six for you. Okay. Incoming messages. So I won't read the description. I feel as though that there is something important coming to you. This could be what you have found out or will be finding out. Um, this card encourages you to just listen to what's being said. So maybe, you know, there's, there could be a jumping to conclusions about something. So be careful of that. Teacher, you're involved in a situation that will help you or someone else evolve. This is all about lessons. Think of it as a gift. You may be teaching someone or you may be a student with a really good teacher. Energetic cords. Clear your aura of unwanted attachments, memories, or unhealthy energies. Release and renew. Wow. Purge and cleanse. Gosh, Aries. What the heck? Elements of your life cannot remain. Negative people, behaviors, or circumstances must be purged soul connection you're deeply connected with someone who will be significant in your life they're important to your journey whether they're here for a little bit or a long time major life changes ahead I, um, i'm stopping for a second they just told me that this soul connection is your teacher okay so this could be somebody who who brings some you know difficult stuff to you because you're supposed to work through that Okay. Major life changes ahead. Change is constant and an opportunity for expansion. Regardless of its shape, consider change a gift. Okay. Wow. Taking no prisoners, huh? <laughs> okay. Aries, let's see where we go with this. Oh my gosh. I, I'm kind of getting that you're in a, a real conundrum about a relationship. I feel like I feel like there's some someone that's been difficult and you're 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 learning so there's something about either that connection or someone else that's teaching you about what to do next the experience what it's about how to move through that wow hmm. it's a little cryptic but let's see energies for Aries in the month of October spirit significant energies in Aries life please energies for Aries October 2020 anything else I was gonna say if we have one card that's a record because they usually fly bottom of the deck Ooh, yang, taking action. Very, uh, very fiery energy. Hmm. 
I'm getting that matches reference. Okay, we have mending, heart healing, and poised. Moving through some difficulty. I, I feel, honestly, um, Aries, I feel like you never stay there long. You are a pretty resilient sign. I've, I have known many Aries in my life, and Aries has the ability to like, you could get the beat out of you, and you will pick, it, you'll pick yourself up, you will dust yourself off, and you'll go, all right, well, that kind of sucked, but okay, I'm, I'm, I'm moving on. So I, I, I'm not surprised to see this. Even though you've been through something that's difficult, this makes sense to me. That it's almost like, okay, well, next. <laughs> and and I don't mean it to seem like you you don't you know you don't feel or feel deeply or you know have that connectedness. I feel like you're just extremely resilient. And all the Aries I've known have been extremely resilient. There's very little that'll get you down. So let's take a look at your energy. Strongest energy around Aries in October spirit. Strongest energy around Aries in October. Anything else, please? I feel one more in there. Feel some energy in this deck. Wow. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have truth. This is the judgment energy about big decisions, life changing decisions. And we do have major life changes ahead, but I'm really focusing on the word truth. It could be because of something you've been told. Okay. So let's, whoa, okay, let's see what we have here. Yep, I feel like this is you, strength, got this. You've got this, you're moving through something with courage and determination. We have the devil reversed, letting go of something that maybe had you stuck or chained, toxicity. I mean, we have purge and cleanse here you're letting something go that was not healthy for you. Solar plexus chakra, power, will, confidence, absolutely. That's what I'm picking up from the strength energy. Your grounding, grounding, security. And I feel like you're coming from a place where I'm not gonna let anybody rock my boat. For some reason, I just kind of got that. I don't know what's up with the boat references today. And then we have Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. So this is love for yourself. This is something new, emotionally um, rewarding or satisfying that presents itself to you. Now, whether this is a new connection with another person or this is just simply a better emotional space, I feel like that's coming in for you. At the very least, as you heal from something, as you turn away from something, I, I feel as though you shift your focus. Ready. You're ready for the new. Okay, Aries, let's see where we go with this. <clears throat> what is going on with Aries? in the month of October spirit. What else needs to come through regarding this energy, please? That wanted to come out. Ooh, karma. I'm going to put it back. Something faded, destined, a karmic connection. I look at that card with a lot of different meanings, depending on what is around it. Anything else, Spirit, for Aries, October 2020?
saw this when I was shuffling and I wondered if that would make an appearance. Well, there it is at the bottom of the deck. So for some of you, this is connecting to someone. Um, for some of you, wow, wow. Um, this is 5D. This is 5D. Very interesting. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't know why I'm getting such a big 5D kind of thing with, with this soul connection, incoming messages. Um, we have dreaming of you. Very interesting. Now, um, that's just a, a, a very specific thing for somebody. But um, I do feel as though if there is new love awaiting you or... New love in the equation, let's put it, whether it's for you or it's for someone else. There is there is someone not with you right now, connecting in the dream space, soul connection. Oftentimes this speaks to me about telepathy, dream space. We have inadequate. Something you are experiencing isn't working. You're thinking a lot about this mental conflict. Maybe you're just trying to figure someone else out. Could be. We have fear here, which is very interesting because we have strength here. So it could be someone you're connecting to who is um, feeling a little worried or, you know, concerned about something. Pride and ego. It's time. So this strength card and the solar plexus chakra could mean that you are a little concerned about something. You need to let go of any fear that you may have around a situation. This, this is interesting. I feel like there's a couple stories intertwined, so let's figure it out. Let's take a look at your energy Aries in October and see what you need to know about this situation. Aries Energy, October 2020, please. Aries, October 2020. What is Aries Energy? Wow, I feel one more. Okay, just four cards. Let's see what we have here. Hmm. Queen of Wands. This could be you. I feel like this is, as a reader, this is my lover card. Queen of Wands. This is someone who's fiery, who's passionate. Absolutely could be you. We have strength, the Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles. This is moving through change. It could be related to a long-term partnership, a marriage. It could be related to work even. This could be about home, foundation. Um, I'm going to get some clarifiers. <laughs> I have a story in my head and I'm not ready to tell it because I want to clarify these. So let's see what needs to come through. Let's clarify this Queen of Wands spirit. What can you tell us about the Queen of Wands? Okay, a card came out and they just gave me something about this card. Um, wow. Wow. Okay, this feels specific again. I'm getting dreams. I'm getting dreams. The Four of Swords, quiet, introspective um, downloads. There, there is something here about dreams. 
that's coming through. And so now it feels so specific. Oh my God. High Priestess. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm getting 5D connection. This is crazy, guys. Whose energy am I picking up? Because now this feels so specific. Okay, let's get one more on the Queen of Wands. Oh my gosh. We have Death and the Knight of Pentacles reversed. Um, bottom of the deck, we have the Sun. Okay, you have to forgive me. I, I get what I get, right? I am, I'm a messenger. This could be a telepathic connection, a spiritual connection, a spirit realm connection. For others of you, there is a Queen of Wands energy. You or someone you are connected with who has disconnected from a relationship and they're waiting for it to be over. It's, it's, there's something that has stalled. There's something that's done. So I'm, I'm reading that a couple of ways. Bottom of the deck, the sun. This can be about things coming to light, coming to the surface. News you find out. Let's, I'm going to get one more. Queen of Wands, Four of Swords, Death, Knight of Pentacles reversed. What else? Okay, so I'm picking up another person who is afraid to end it. So fear, fear, fear of endings, fear of ending it. Let's go back to these energetic cords needing to be, you know, cleared out. Purge and cleanse. I feel like someone has disconnected. Yeah, somebody, uh, sorry, I'm just seeing if I'm getting anything else from spirit. Someone has disconnected. They're, they're not engaged. They're not engaged. They're not talking. They don't have the strength to end it. Boy, what a way to, what a way to get this message to you. So if, if, it may be you, it may be you. We have the fool at the bottom of the deck. It may be you that is trying to muster up the courage to address a long-term partnership and have a new beginning. It's funny, well, not funny at all. Um, inadequate speaks to this isn't working. It's not working. Pride, ego, fear. We have strength and fear represented here. We have strength here and reversed here. It's almost like you, I can do this, no, I can't. I can do this, no, I can't. I, it's almost as if um, your, your strength is an asset one day and then the next it's like, oh, I can't. Oh my God, I can't. And, and so I, I, I feel like you vacillate between this, I'm going to do it, I, I'm, I'm ready, I'm going to do this, it's time, you know, I, I, can, I can handle this, and, and I'm going to leave whatever this is behind and embrace this new opportunity, this, this, this thing that will make me emotionally happy, this new opportunity, and then you go, oh no, wait, wait, I... I don't know. I, I don't know if I can do it. Oh, what a tough place to be. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's, let's, um, so let's look at strength. Strength is strength, but I'm going to find out where you, what you need the strength to do. What does Aries need to muster the strength to accomplish spirit? Two cards flew out. Okay, we have the Queen of Swords, which is about clarity, being clear-headed, following your heart, perhaps Queen of Cups. Let's get one more. We're getting a lot of queens on the table. What's going on, Aries? <laughs> oh, 
okay, there's something that flipped up. Yes, no, um, yes, yeah, several, so I'm just gonna put them back. Let's get, let's get um, one more on strength, the Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups. So I feel like this is clarity about your own feelings. What else? Oh, too many. Sorry, my lawn guy decided he wanted to hang out right outside my window. I hope you can't hear that. Strength, Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups. Strength, Queen of Swords. Whoa. Okay. So sideways, we have the Four of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles. Do you keep investing? Do you keep investing? The Three of Pentacles is, is, is about the effort put in towards something with someone else. Do you keep investing? Flipped up in the deck is the Ten of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, the Ace of Swords, Truth. You've got to know your truth and speak your truth. Wow. So let's take a look at, I'm going to swap decks again. What's coming up for you that you need to be aware of? Because I think that that will help you make this decision. Okay, so what does Aries need to know about what's coming up to help them make this, dec this decision, Spirit? What else? What does Aries need to know? Okay, bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Wands. Being at a crossroads, this, this could be an opportunity that presents itself. So it puts you at this crossroads see what we've got yeah wow okay hanged man you are taking a deep look at this you're really wanting to understand you're you're perhaps in addition to to looking at this in a new way or looking at this deeply I feel like this is also um, something that you may have to give up and maybe you know because the hanged man is about sacrifice as well Maybe you don't want to give up, you know, a stable home, a long-term connection for something that, you know, it's a new beginning, but is it, is it a sure thing? Is it, is it certain? Do you want to look as though you've, get, you've given up on something? Sometimes this pride card is about what other people think of you. Okay, then we have the Four of Cups. I get sad when I look at this. This is like apathy. To me, it's disappointment over the past. It's apathy. It's, it's being unfulfilled in so many ways. And it's like, mm, if you feel that way, yeah, what a dilemma. What a dilemma. King of Cups reversed. Um, this can be emotional manipulation. Um, I'm just frankly looking at this as somebody who's not happy, and I think it represents perhaps your energy. Eight of Wands, movement. Movement, um, this can be swift change, news, and I feel like that's this incoming message. So let's get a quick clarifier. What is the news? Incoming messages. What is this news? This flipped up in the deck. News that probably brings some conflict. Five of Wands. What else? What is the news, Spirit? Whoops. Oh, shoot. Fell on the floor. Knight of Cups. Wow. So, you have to decide who you are in this situation. If the news is about the competition, someone else coming in to offer love, or you are saying, I, you know, well, anyway, you put yourself where it makes sense. There, remember over here, there's somebody disconnecting, pulling back, not wanting to move forward. So I, I feel like the conflict is around offering a cup 
So there could be a marriage here. There could be uh, emotions being shared with someone else that creates conflict. Bottom of the deck. Yeah, eight, eight of Wands. It's definitely about this communication. This is interesting. It feels twisted and tangled. Gosh. Finding out, found out, playing with fire. The playing with fire might be this Queen of Wands energy. I, I, you know, no judgment, but you'll have to put yourself where it makes sense for you. Let's take a look at the dynamics going on in your relationship, in whatever this is representing. Let's see what's going on. This is my compassionate soul deck. What do you have for Aries spirit? What energy is at play in their connection? What energy is at play in this connection? Go ahead. Anything else, please? What is at play in this connection? distorted viewpoint at the bottom of the deck. There's a need to take a step back and evaluate an incorrect perception. So that might be this mental conflict. I have strength. I don't have strength. I can do this. No, I'm, I'm doubting myself. There's a little bit of confusing energy there. Wow, God, courageous. You have more strength than you give yourself credit for. You can do this. If you're resonating with this reading, because um, I do feel like I'm picking up a couple people and a couple situations. Um, yeah, that, that, I mean, this just has strength written all over it or the need for strength. Very interesting. Um, we have honesty and integrity. In all situations, we are setting an example. Say what you mean, mean what you say. Passive roles. Someone needs to find their way through this without interference or influence. If this is simply about a connection that's going through difficulty and situations need to be purged, then I feel like someone um, you know, so so we don't act on codependent tendencies. I, I do feel like if there's a, like a, a toxic tendency or pattern here, that is something, you know, sometimes we just have to let people figure out their stuff. So it, it could, there could be a little of that in here. Very interesting. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's look at the lighted pathway and get some advice for you. Advice for Aries, October 2020. Advice for Aries. Wow. I don't see this card very often. They need help. Um, someone in this scenario is having a difficult time. For some reason, I'm not getting that it's you. For the majority of you anyway. Stick it out, things will improve and make the first move. And I feel like this is about reaching out. It's, I think it's about conversations. It's about honest communication. Wow. Okay. Let's get some guidance from this deck. Messages from Spirit. Guidance for Aries, please, in this very complicated situation. Anything else? <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Bottom of the deck. Vulnerability is strength. Wow. My goodness. I've never said the word strength so many times in <laughs> one reading. Oh, God. Spend some time in quiet meditation. Stay in a positive vibration. You will bring more of the same to your life. In this scenario, you are the student. Ah, we have teacher here and we have student. So you'll have to, you know, figure out what you've learned from this. This simply implies someone's taught you some stuff. Yeah. 
Let go and allow spirit to take the lead. This is in the hands of the divine. Wow, guys. Yeah, passive role. There's something that somebody needs to figure out. There's nothing you can do. So, you know, that could be this energy here. Just pull back. Not doing anything. Um, wow. Okay, Aries. Kind of an interesting reading. <laughs> Some of you may want a personal after this one because it's, it's that... It feels that complex. But I hope this was helpful for those of you who hung in there. Just a housekeeping item, I may produce extended readings in, in um, November, rather. So heads up about that. And until then, I hope you have a wonderful month. Sending you all love and light. Take care.